Hey guys, it's Tony Splash, and in this episode, we're gonna be talking about how to make a mini map in Unreal Engine 5. All right, let's get into it. First, we'll open up third person character blueprint. Go to viewport, click add, and look for spring arm. Next, we'll click add again and look for scene capture component. Next, we'll rotate it to negative 90 degrees. Then we'll change the projection type from perspective to orthographic, and then the ortho width will be changed to 2000. Pick a pile. Next, we'll go to the spring arm, and we'll make sure on the camera settings that the inherit pitch, inherit y'all, and inherit roll are unselected. Compile. Next, we'll grab an image from our desktop, and we will drag it into our project. This will be used as the player icon for our map. After that, go back to third person character blueprint, click add, and type in sprite. Once you grab paper sprite, make sure we drag it under character mesh, hit compile. Then we're gonna go back to the arrow, right click, look for sprite actions, and then we're gonna create a sprite. Make sure the sprite is highlighted, go back to third person character blueprint, go back to source sprite, and click this arrow. Now that we have it here, let's rotate it and let's adjust it. We want it above the character, so whenever it shows up on the mini map, this is what we're gonna see. Hit compile. We'll go click on rendering, the advanced. And then we'll make sure owner no C is selected. Compile. Next we'll go to scene capture. And then we'll go to texture target, hit the drop down button, click render target. Then we'll hit save. And after that we hit compile. Next we'll right click, look for user interface and look for widget blueprint. Click user widget and rename the blueprint. Open it up. Now we're gonna type in canvas. Next we'll type in image. And now we're gonna resize it and we're gonna adjust where we wanna have it on the player screen. All right, let's anchor it. And hit compile. All right, after that, let's go back to the third person map. We're gonna look for the new texture render, right click, and then we're gonna look for create material. Open it up. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure the texture render is still selected. We're gonna go to material domain and we're gonna select user interface. Now we connect the RGB to the final color. Hit the save button. All right, now that we saved it, let's go back to the map. Select the texture render target material. Go to appearance, brush, and now hit the arrow. Wow. After that, go to third person character blueprint. Go to event graph. And on event, begin play. We're going to right click, look for create widget. Then we're gonna select mini map. 
We'll go to the return value and look for add to viewport. And then for the owning player, we're gonna look for get player controller. Compile. And that should be it. Um, at this point, you can adjust the size of the character icon. Um, it's really a preference. Um, so I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. We'll try it again. All right. Let's make it a little bit smaller. All right, there we go, I like that, it's a lot better. As you can see, when the character runs around, the camera is gonna be pointing in the direction the character's running. All right guys, great job if you made it to this point. It means we have successfully made a mini-map. Or you got bored and just skipped to the end. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share this video, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.